a centenarian in Separio is celebrating her 108th birthday. Josephine Jackman had a special guest as the chairman of the Separio Regional Corporation, Dr. Glenn Ramadansing, paid her a visit. He said we must value and respect the contribution of the elderly. Melissa Dasrath tells us more. Josephine Jackman was born on January 22, 1909, in Queenham. The soft-spoken centenarian grew up in the rural community in the heart of the Southland. She was a domestic worker with a strong faith as a shouter Baptist. And as she tells us, in her later years, she has adopted a humble and mellow approach to life. I don't make no fuss, no fuss at all, none, none for birthday, Christmas, happy birthday. I'm not a rich pussy cat, you know. Her daughter, who is 74 years old, said she feels blessed she's able to care for her mother and celebrate this milestone. She shared a glimpse of the woman she knew growing up. My mother was always a disciplinarian, a no-nonsense person, and uh, she never spared the rod, I would tell you. She would always tell me the pride of being a young lady, how to walk, how to talk, how to approach people, you, you understand, never looking down when you're talking to somebody, look them dead in the eye, that is the only way you would know what that person is all about. To celebrate her 108th birthday, her family will have a prayer meeting and a quiet gathering, with the addition of a special guest. Chairman of the Separia Regional Corporation and former Minister of the People, Dr. Glenn Ramadar Singh, said he believes the elderly deserve to have dignity and respect in old age and be treated with care and loving kindness. And I understand how important it is for us to appreciate um, this generation um, that have lived through more than a hundred years and um, she's going strong and we are really proud of her and proud of her family and it says something about family values care for the elderly, um, putting some, your, your parents first as a priority. Um, she is here because of the care, the affection, the love, the food. The chairman who came with gifts and tokens of appreciation said centenarians did not plan to live this long. So pension and retirement funds and other resources run out. So he is embarking on an education campaign for persons living a long life to become aware of the special free government social services, support and programs available to them. Melissa Dasroff, C News. And hopefully we can all age as gracefully.